A great thing is amount for Ghana for a sure for any tea for viewers and subscribers. If you avoid the righteous messenger way, I'll represent one more time. And you know, amount for I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the righteous messenger and also thank you for you know the views and the subscription. You know, without you guys, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, anyway, today I come on, I see one post on Facebook. You know, somebody called Odoba Jemfi posted this, you know, to the Common Sense Family, you know, group on Facebook, loyal members, Common Sense Family loyal members. And in the post, he asks, there's a question, does Abraham believe in God? You know, and they talk about Abraham Ben Moshe founder and leader of you know csf for sure or common sense family ghana's biggest anti-religious or free thinking movement yeah and um the question is does abraham believe in god i'm on for i can't give my opinion and at the same time you know i will read some of the comments that you know people out there or the public you know contributed or commented on this particular post amount for is quite interesting you know because the god question the concern everybody every human being you know because the thing they talk say this god they exist is a belief no one has ever seen him no one has ever heard from him some people claim that but they can't prove it once you can't prove it you know got no evidence you understand and you can't prove it a man for why should we believe something that can be proven you know a man for so the question is does abraham believe in god make a talk small before i read the uh, comments for me you know i know say abraham ben moshe doesn't believe in the god of the books you know he doesn't believe in the gods that in the religious you know gods like jesus christ muhammad you know <clears throat> muhammad self is not a god he's a messenger of god as muslims claim but the allah in the quran abraham the moshe doesn't believe in it yeah that's what i know he doesn't believe in any god that is limited in a book because that power we that god have can only be demonstrated or read from a book but if you ask someone to you know show the power of god in reality they cannot show it and i support that you know if avram Bemoshe says i don't believe the, the the god in the books because they are non-existent i support that you know for my own you know findings and research but then Avram Bumoshe says he believes there's a creator or a creator because Avram Bumoshe always comes with the saying there's no creation without a creator you know and me righteous messenger look I will really debunk that premise yeah but anyway that's a different video yeah <laughs> no creation without a creator you've already negated yourself when you say that but anyway we did deal with does avram ben moshe believe in god yeah as critical thinkers or free thinkers as common sense family members part of our duty is to use our brain and to use your brain i'm for you need to look at things critically does Avram Ben Moshe believe in God? He does not believe in the God of the books. I mean the Bible, the Torah or the Tanakh, the Quran or the Hadith, you know, the Indians or the Asians, you know, the Buddhist, Confucianist and all these other religions have also got their books, but their gods is limited in their book because outside of the book their god cannot show the power that the book says their god has i'm not for what you think at the back leave comments 
you know, me a righteous messenger, you know, if I take this phone, yeah, iPhone, I know someone created it. I know, 100%, someone created it. But this universe, this earth where we day inside, I do not know if it was created by somebody. You know, because elements can come together, yeah, and through change, something will be created or something will be formed, you know, unintentionally. You know, I'm out for look at it. If I be painter and I say, okay, today I go paint the map of Africa and I paint it. Consciously, I have created something. I'm over here the thing. It be me where I draw that African map. So I've created that drawing, that particular drawing. But let's say I'm drawing that map and then all of a sudden the paint fell down. And then through that, you know, a picture is created. You know, let's say just the, the paint just falls down and then creates a drawing by itself. Am I the one that created it? No. Is the paint, is it the paint that created itself, that created that drawing? No. It's just out of a coincidence of that paint falling down and that painting or creation came out of it. And I'm not going to stand here and claim that this world or universe was created by a God based on the saying that there's no creation without a creator because that is a, an error, a logical fallacy on its own. That premise is already debunked. That premise debunked itself. Yeah. But I'm out for, you know, I'm going to do videos to the introduce to the people, you know, like arguments for and against, you know, the existence of God so that people could open them up eyes, you know, people could open them up brains and see what's really going on because it'd be like, because we black man, because we Africans, we want to study, we want to read, anybody can turn up and tell us anything and then we believe it. With our research, I'm on for. You see, it's up to you to believe what you, what you want to believe. But Charlie, if to me, righteous messenger, if there's no evidence or proof of something, don't believe it. You know, if for me, somebody says, then who created the earth? I don't know. Do you know? You don't know. You know 100% that somebody created this iPhone. You know it. So you can say the iPhone is created. It has a creator. But the universe, the earth we live on. How was it created? We do not know. Do you know? How did we human beings turn up on this earth? You don't know. Do you know? But somebody who can't talk say it be some God we create. With stories in a book. And these stories don't add up. When these stories are studied and analyzed and critically looked at, these stories start falling apart. Anyway, I'm going to make a look at some of the comments that, you know, people gave on this post. Do you, does Abraham believe in God? Okay, one person, Kumi Ebenezer, said or commented, which means 50-50. Basically, this guy is trying to say believe means 50-50. 
And Abraham Bemoshe says that himself, you know. So if you are telling us you believe something, it's useless. You know, to me, it's useless. Maybe I will listen to you and then chuck it in the bin, you know. And this Kumi Beneza says, anyway, he knows there's a creator, but no one sees him or her. If it's a man or a woman, nobody knows. According to me, I don't believe in the Bible gods, but I know my country God is powerful than Bible gods. The country God is <laughs> Look at the state of Africa. Look at the state of Ghana. And you're telling me Ghana has gods. Where are the gods? When there's shortages of water in the northern region and the rural areas. Where are the gods when the politicians or leaders are taking, grabbing and looting for themselves and their families? Number four, another person, Yaro Ibrahim. Yes, of course, he believes the creator, not the one in the Bible, which is what I said, you know. Some people think, you know, like the other time this guy can, you know, comment on my post. On my YouTube channel, the talks say, <laughs> and they hate on Abraham. Oh, Charlie, I'm up for. Look, <laughs> and they love CSF, you know, because of the work with CSF they do. You understand? And they love Abraham and the movement because I see most of the people in the movie, they are adamant, they are strong, they are mentally, you know, strong to, you know, fight the system so that we can get what we deserve as citizens. You know, so that we can, you know, wipe or deal away with religion or the way that it affects, you know, us as humans or black people. Yeah? Another one, Bernard Dakwa Kodria. Nobody hears from the creator. No one knows what or who he is. She, it looks like or live. The fact that all the religious books, right, are different and conflicting stories about the Creator is evidence that they all know him or her not. Yes, you know, that what we did talk, you know. The books or the religious books conflict or, you know, contradict each other, you know, on this. God question a mouthful yeah another comment susu birbi odia sempa god of the universe bible is fake so this guy is saying there's a god in the universe or there's a god that created the universe but the bible is fake and then mcdc Yes, but not the one in the Bible, which is what I said. Abraham says he believes in a creator or the creator, but not the one in the Bible, because the ones in the Bible are useless outside the Bible. Samuel also answered, it is written, he creates man in his own image. So service to man is equally to God, meaning knowing man, knowing God. So basically this person is saying that man is God. You know, which makes sense in a way to me, righteous messenger. Because if you want to insist that there's a God, that God is you. Because even in your own book, it says, man, you know, God created man is in, in his own image. So the people who created or wrote the books, you know, knew that, look, there's no God outside, you know, of reality. We are gods. If, if gods exist, we are gods among four. Yeah. Another person, Miranda GH. Yes, he knows for sure there is a supreme God, but does not believe in the limited one in the book created, invented by men to deceive the masses. Another good one. Yes, but not the God in the Bible. You see. Yes, somebody said Marcus and Antichi. He says, Yes, Abraham believes in God, but he needs to qualify that. Yeah, because if you ask me, I'll say, Yes, 
he does he claimed there's a supreme being of what here a creator but not the ones in the books and then there's one here dennis gaetano blue ambiguous question yeah ambiguity or ambiguous means you know something that has you know two sides yeah two meanings i hope i'm right and then he continues to say there are so many gods in the world created by the creator you see so this guy is basically taking it from the point of view from avram B. Moshe that look a creator created this world yeah so what is the creator is he a human being like us is he a spirit as people claim if that's what people claim so what is spirit how can a spirit live without a human form i'm not for but me i know say actually yolo you live only once and after that that's it where is the judgment yeah, where they claim these things, no one has died and come back. Somebody they claim say them die with them come back, but no, it's called NDE. Sorry, yeah, NDE, near death experience. Something that is dead does not come back or does not rise up, does not come back. NDE is near death experience. You nearly died, but you didn't die. Yeah. So if somebody say, oh, I died, I was in a tunnel, I saw angels and that, my amount for all be, you know, lies. Or, you know, how do you call them? Activities of the brain. Yeah? And this Dennis guy, Tano Blue, goes on. The concept of one god is wrong the god of israel is the same category of tano bobo buddha and the likes the slave master then told us our gods yeah that our gods monotheistic god of israel is god the creator i'm not for the beg if you they write these comments write them properly because charlie i won't read comments to show what the people or the public they think but if they write this you know basa 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 english how will you read them huh the slave masters then told us our gods and that monotheistic god of israel is the creator which is totally deceptive well abraham believed in the existence of gods you see a man for this one is not clear, Charlie. I will explain them. Kwabna Safo, to believe it or not, it does not change anything. Exactly. You know, it is talk as well that to believe that the a God exists or not does not change anything. You know, I'm out for I'm out for they talk these things all the time. And to be honest with you, I they think about it as well. And I've thought about it again. Whether this God exists or not doesn't change anything. But people they use religion. Yeah to control or you know to how i go talk him you know to let's say to control the way people they think yeah because i'm out for if you they think say there's a god in the sky that is going to do something for you naturally as a human being you you're gonna wait for it or you're gonna pray and do what you know it's gonna make that God give you answers or solutions. But if you did like me, righteous messenger, there are things that look, no God there anywhere will give me any solutions. I'm out for I will work twice, three, four times as hard so that I will get that solution for myself. You know, I'm out for the video is 20 minutes already. You know, I know if you read all these um, comments, but the basic thing is. Avram Ben Moshe believes in the Creator, but not the one in the Bible, the Quran, or the Torah, or not the one in the Torah, the Bible, or the Quran. You know, if I have to mention it chronologically. Mm. Yeah. So I wanted to read a lot of the comments, but because of the time. I'm out for, I will end here. Be a boy, the righteous person where I can pass through once again. And you know, please leave comments. You know, both believers and 
non-believers religious or non-religious you know comments are accepted and you know once again thank you for viewing the video and i'll see you again in the next video peace bye